Hi Pisces, how are you? This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node in both Vedic and Tropical Astrology. I do practice both. We're going to see what energy is coming in for Pisces. My name is Deanna, Intuitive D1111. You can find me on Instagram, Intuitive D1111. And if you want a personal reading, I will have a link down in the description box. Also, um, if you do enjoy the video, please subscribe. It'll help my small channel to grow. And it'll also help you to see when I upload for your other natal chart placements, okay? All right, let's go ahead and, oh, what was that? Let's see what messages are coming in. Oh, Page of Cups. Somebody wants to apologize. Ace of Swords, they want to tell you the truth. Okay. Page of Cups, this is the energy that you get when you are um, dating somebody. The interesting thing is, is I, for some of you guys, you've known this person for years, but I feel that there is this, there's like this lightweight, youthful energy about you that this person misses and that they're realizing that, um, I don't know, there's something about your energy that they find to be healing. They find it to be like refreshing is what I'm hearing. Um... And they can't really find that anywhere else. I feel like you guys have been doing some soul searching here with the Hermit card. Or there could be someone where you have, if it's not, um, if you guys aren't talking to this person, then some of you guys could be talking to this person. But the let's just say the conversation is very limited, okay? Um, with the Temperance card here, I feel like you have a divinely guided connection with someone. I feel like... Um, Right now, you both are going within to see whether or not reconciliation could be possible. Because Ace of Swords, for some readers, is also a card that talks about reconciliation. But I feel like some of you guys dis discovered the truth about someone or something, okay? Could be dealing with another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Sagittarius, or a Virgo. That's what we have here on the board. Um... Page of Cups does talk about messages. So maybe some of you guys discovered some truth in somebody's messages um, that you're healing from. So there could have been, you know, something that came to light. Can you tell me why is the Page of Cups here for Pisces watching this video? We have the will here. Yeah, I feel like whatever's happening right now, it's meant to happen. Okay. Knight of Wands here. Yeah, some of you guys are learning the truth about somebody that... Um, I feel this is a person that it's like they have multi, they have dual energies. Either they're very focused, loving, caring, um, stable, you know, or they go into this in and out energy. This um, this energy where they're not real, where they're making fast, impulsive decisions is what I'm getting. And I feel like that's been um, the karmic lesson that's needed to be learned between both of you guys. Yes, you guys could have a divinely guided connection. You could have a soul connection. But I feel like what's happening right here with the wheel of fortune is things are turning in your favor. And this person is learning a karmic le lesson based on how they treated you. Yeah, didn't I tell you guys I still felt like there was a dual energy, right? Of someone that is stable, committed. Yeah, king of coins. That's this person. This person is learning a lesson. Now, for some of you, the king of coins is actually a husband or a father figure. It is somebody stable, grounded, that, you know, is a provider. That's the energy I, was, I, for some reason, was feeling off of this knight of wands. But I feel like lately this person has been making impulsive, irrational decisions that you really don't understand. Yeah, there's like, there literally is a long-term commitment that's here on the table with this ten of coins here. Okay? So... Someone needs to make a decision in regards to a commitment, okay? Somebody was not being honest in the past, and that's why the clarity is coming in. They weren't being honest with their feelings. They weren't being honest with their communication. Why is the Hermit card here for the Pisces that are watching this video? Six of Wands. You guys are going to have victory in this situation. You are. No matter what's happened in this situ situation, if you feel like this person did you dirty or if you feel like this situation didn't go the way that you were expecting it to, you are going to come out victorious. Um, yeah, the moon. There was a lot of secrecy within this connection. A lot of secrecy. And look, we have the bats up here. 
birds, communication, something involving communication that you guys discovered about this person. There's something that they did not want you to know. They were afraid to tell you the truth. Yeah, for some of you, it had to do with, um, you know, somebody else that was in their life. Could have been a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag with this Ace of Wands. Or they very well just could have been operating, um, you know, from a lower vibrational energy, right? Just thinking about their passions and not necessarily thinking about what they normally do, which is their stability, yeah, the high priestess here. You guys already knew this. You found this out. You guys are very intuitive. This is your card here. Some of you guys are Pisces. Um, of course, Pisces sun, but you could be Pisces moon or Pisces rising. Yeah, I feel like you guys secretly knew that this person was trying to create something somewhere else, right? And you've been through it with this person, with the nine of wands. Some of you guys could have trust issues dealing with this person, yeah, page of wands. It's about kids, communication. Kids could be involved here. Queen of cups. You've been very loving to this person. And this is what they did. They betrayed you. Okay? They had you feeling stuck and trapped. But now this person, because they were not listening to their intuition and acting impulsively, they are going to be regretting their decision. Look at that. Four of coins. They're holding back, but some of you, the karmic lesson for them is that their money is going to be impacted for what they did to you or how they've been treating you in this situation. Yeah, because look, now we have the queen of coins, multiple, multiple queens and one king. Okay, so some of you guys, someone else was definitely involved. Okay. Because I feel like you guys held this person down. You were there for this person. You were very supportive to this person. And for some of you, this person really betrayed you. They really hurt you. They really had you second guessing, making you think that there was something wrong with you. No, the reality is there was something wrong with them because they were way too mature, some of you, for them to be acting like this Knight of Wands. They were way too mature as the King of Coins for them to, you know, to be playing games and to act like they didn't know what they wanted. Okay? So I don't know why I'm getting so irritated for you guys. I feel this person, it's like you love this person, but they irritate you. There's things that they do and you're just like, why? It's like, why did you do that? Or why are you acting that way? Or why can't you, for some of you, just leave someone alone? I feel there is really somebody that has really just irritated. Look at the way this guy is looking. Look at the way, can you see his face here on this page of wands? It's like there's someone that's looking at you like, okay, yeah, like this is what I'm doing. Like, honestly, there's like, there's someone that um, really got in the way of you guys' connection. This is crazy. So what's going to happen here with this person? What is going to happen with this person? What is going to happen with Pisces love interest that's on their mind? Near future outcome. Yeah, hanging man. Some of you guys are dealing with another Pisces, nine of cups. They're going to be drinking, reflecting, still needing to see something from another perspective. Still confused. Yeah. Confused about what? The queen of coins. Three of wands. Waiting. Waiting and watching you. This person's waiting and watching you, still trying to figure out what to do. And you're looking at them while they're hanging there. Most likely they betrayed you before because the hanging, the, the, um, hang, the hangman was a traitor. So it's like you're sitting there watching them like, what are you doing? And this person is just sitting there literally doing nothing, being selfish with the nine of cups for some of you, concerned with all these other things that in the long run are really not going to benefit him because not everything in all of these cups is good. This person is waiting. It's like they're constantly looking at something else, waiting for their ships to come in. It's like they want to manifest, but are they manifesting with good intentions? Yeah, this is more stalemate energy for you guys with this past person. So let's see about new love for Pisces. If Pisces is looking for new love, or open to it at least, what is coming in for Pisces as far as new love goes? What's coming in for the Pisces watching this video as far as new love goes? Okay, Page of Swords. What's coming in as far as some of you guys are, yeah, some of you guys, if you are open to new love, someone's already watching you. Could be an Aries or 
or a fire sign or air sign, someone already has their eyes on you. This is somebody that is going to be, um, what in the world? Ugh. I hate to say this, but I'm going to be honest. <laughs> This, this, this new person seems kind of weird, Pisces. <laughs> this, um, I don't know what they're hiding from. If they're secretly involved in something else, make sure the person, the new person that you're talking to is not involved with someone else. Because with the seven of swords here, this very well is somebody sneaking around. Or this is somebody who is not being honest with their feelings. Um, but I feel like if you are open to meeting someone new, you definitely have, I would say go for the fire sign maybe stay clear of the air sign. Some of you guys already have somebody that's keeping an eye on you and they're watching you and they're waiting to see whether or not you're going to continue with this past situation or be open to something new. And maybe the seven of swords here is here because this person is like waiting in the shadows. It's like they're waiting for you to actually make a logical decision about what's best for you. Look at all this air sign energy. A lot of you guys have this air, this air sign is like, no joke. Wow. This is crazy. Look, you guys have people that are, you definitely have love options coming in. Just definitely pray and meditate on your options, okay? I don't want this to be too long, but if you enjoyed this video, let me know down below in the comment section. If you want a personal reading, I do have a link down below for you guys. All right, love you, Pisces. Bye.